It's going to load us up. Okay. Setting our meeting. All righty. Okay. Redirecting. We are now going live on YouTube. So um, what we're going to do here is I'm going to stop the volume on the YouTube. I always have this problem. I can't remember where it's at. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. There we go. I'm going to pause that and go back to us. Got it. So we should be. I gotcha. Okay. There it goes. Yeah. Let me. We're going to have double the volume. Everybody loves it when I go live because I never know how to shut the volume off. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> We're live. They're catching up. They're running about 30 seconds behind. So hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm at it again. It's been a while since we've been live in Resident Essentials, the group. And today I brought Susan Zumo with us. How you doing, Susan? I am doing great. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You know, I love your work. Um, I love our connection. I love our things that we get to do together. So there's no complaint there. I just have to say that my complaint is, is that I don't want to lose you. I know you're moving, even though you haven't yet, even though I've told everyone you were leaving. So I apologize because <laughs> the timeline shifted. So tell us a little bit about, you know, without getting into the personal details about when you expect to move or what you're looking at. So people know. That's okay. Um, you know, I have to follow my intuition. So I had a plan and my plan is flexible. Um, I do know that I will ultimately be moving. I do feel that it will be some time this year. Um, it just got the timeline got extended a little bit. <laughs> and so um, I don't know exactly when I'll be going. And when I do, I'll let you know. There you go. And I'll quit saying, she's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> come take her class. <laughs> I'm hope that you, you come and teach more classes and workshops before you go. But today we're going to be talking about the uh, Ascension workshop that you're doing with Jizz Soul Patterning Harmonics. Tell us how that came into being. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Um, soul patterning harmonics came into being back in the early 90s um, when I was teaching Reiki full time. And I had a strong desire to bring through a fast healing modality. Um, I wanted it to be fast. I wanted it to be easy. <laughs> I wanted it to be um, something that fit with, with me. And so um, it came through back in the 90s. I started teaching it. And I started um, doing the soul patternings on my Reiki masters. And um, I got all the information, got all the levels, got the teacher training, got everything. And then my, my guys, the beings of light said, um, the world's not ready for it. You should wait. And being the impatient person that I am, I said, no, I don't want to wait. You gave it to me. I want to do it. I'm going to do it. And they said, it, I it, live in 3D. I want it now. <laughs> That's right. I was like, why'd you give it to me, right? If you want me to sit on it. So I, I taught it for, um, I don't know, about two years, three years. And um, they were right. The world wasn't ready for it. But I didn't understand why at the time. And what I learned um, last year when they said, okay, you can teach it now, was that the energy for soul patterning harmonics that we use is a five, fifth dimension, fifth density, high galactic harmonic light energy. And back in the 90s, there was no corresponding frequency to support that. 
So that's why it's it's back now and I'm teaching it now because now we have people are in that energy. We're in 4D, we can do it. If we care to put some effort toward it. Yes. Those, exactly those that right. want to. Um, you know, I've been bragging about this class to many people because I enjoyed it so much. And um, I think that let's talk a little bit why give them give people a little sense of why it's it's a really good course to take because you bullet pointed it um as a very clear and concisely but i want them to hear from you because i don't think that i think if people understood how powerful this was and how quickly their life will shift it would make a big difference well I'll try and boil it down. <laughs> um, <laughs> in a nutshell, um, your soul pattern corresponds to your DNA. And we can affect your life and your DNA and your, your purpose plan by focusing soul patterning energy in certain places. But, and the big catch is that it has to do with your intention. It has to do with what you intend. It has to do with what you activate within self and then within outside of self, within the universe that corresponds to that intent. So soul patterning is like a booster. Um, it's a big shot of energy. Again, it's, it's high frequency energy that activates the DNA. And it activates it for whatever purpose or intent you put on it. You know, I totally understand that because in the class that I teach on judgment, we look at the four windows, Johari's windows, and the last one, the last window has to deal with our DNA and our possibilities. Mm -hmm. so we can either trigger our DNA to create illness and malfunctions within the body system or our emotions or however we want to look at it or we can trigger the dna to have a higher frequency to connect to our spiritual gifts of higher possibilities and it's i true. think that's the important thing that people need to really kind of get with this this is they're struggling <laughs> believe me uh, you know, Mercury retrograde was pretty intense for a lot of people. So if they're struggling, it's a good opportunity at this time to come back and say to people, you don't have to struggle, right? They don't, if they do this, they don't have to struggle with trying to climb that ladder. It's, that's what you designed it for. That's what it was given to you for is to make them jump. That's right. It, it creates it creates a harmonic shift. It's an energetic harmonic shift in the next octave of self. So where wherever you are, it takes you to the next level of self. Well, what about the people who come in and they say, oh, I don't need that. I'm already high. I'm already there. And I I'm say, OK. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, the law of attraction works all the time. If, if you don't feel drawn to it or you feel like you're already there, I guess that's great. You know, I mean, the way that I look at it is we, we can all climb the ladder and go higher. Who wants to keep who wants to if you have a way that makes me go up that ladder a little faster. <laughs> take me. I'm yours. Well, in fact, I did. <laughs> right. Well, here's the other thing, too, is I, I can't stand people being dependent on me for anything. So the thing that I love about this class is that you'll be able to do it for yourself. Once you leave the class, we'll do it in class. Um, you'll do it in class and then you can go home and do it for yourself. And that means that there's no 15 levels. You know, there's there's no step one through seven and none of that nonsense. I I the class came through when I was taking um, when I was a Reiki master 
And at that time, there was one, one group, I can't remember the name of them, they had 12 levels that you had to take before you could get to master. I'm like, that's a load of baloney. That, that's just come back to me for 11 more classes. I don't like that. I'm not a fan of the, I'm a fan of heal yourself and you'll climb as high as you want. That's it. That's, so I have the other aspect of, um, I did the, I did Reiki back in that day in those times. Um, mm-hmm. I did levels one and two. I never felt the need to become a master because it just, it wasn't something I thought that was necessary for me. I doesn't mean that I don't think that it's a great thing for other people. That's up to them. My point was, is that I didn't need it because I already was figuring things out on a different level for me, mm-hmm. there were other things that I wanted to do and other ways of, of accomplishing them. So I get what you're saying. And I, I have to say that, um, you know, it's one of those, it's, it's kind of like back in the seventies, if you had said UFO, everybody would have been laughing about the guy in Arizona who got lifted up and was disappeared mm-hmm. for three days and nobody I mean I lived in that area so they were like he's missing oh he went on a drunk he got stolen by some woman and you know he laid up and cheated on his wife or whatever it was the stories that they were telling but they to admit that there was other beings in our universe was a concept that they couldn't fully grasp mm-hmm. and here it is you know, 50 years later, what did I say 50 years later? (laughs) Shh, don't say that. (laughs) Right through the heart. (laughs) Um, Anyway, uh, here we are now and we're going, wait a minute, not only is there possibilities of galactic beings walking amongst us and interacting with us, I might know some and wait a minute, what about multiverse yep and physics is talking about multiverses every decision that you make i remember when i was first uh layers of metaphysics i said every seven years you come in again so you seven times seven which is where that bible thing came from seven times seven into infinity and those were the people that were going to get to go to heaven and that seven times seven was you Mm -hmm. and going in back to the etheric and making those transitions and going on to other worlds and other dimensions and but we forget that well here's the thing we we are we are not all galactic beings a huge majority of us are some of us are indigenous earth people um but if you are if you are galactic being then you'll be drawn to the class because it's galactic energy. It's going to feel familiar. It's not going to feel like someone whapped you over the head or, you know, you had a shock to put and and fell over. It's not going to be like that. I've been very fortunate in my life that I've always known that there were galactic beings. I, I never questioned the fact that when beings of light showed up in my meditation and said, here, do this, it was like, okay. Um, you know, one of the first experiences I ever had was at a, a hypnosis training. Um, and the, the teacher, this is back in the, in the seventies teacher in the hypnosis training I took said, all right, so everybody here has a Jupiterian connection. So let's go find them. And, and that's what we did. And so I, I never had that, that questioning. I always thought that it was extremely pompous and condescending to believe that we were the highest intelligence in the universe. I know, the, and the only ones. I still think that. And the only ones. <laughs> and the only ones, right. I, I agree. Exactly. I think that, we're, that, that pompousness is intriguing um, because I, I find ego is, is an opportunity for failure, but you know, you gauge the ego and let your ego do your talking, you've already set yourself up to limit your possibilities. So I really hope that. Well, I love ego. Huh? Well, 
I said, I, I love ego because you need it to function in a 3D matrix world. You know, I'm not disputing that. I'm, ego in its right use is correct. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people who do not use ego in its correct, in the correct way. Okay. Right. Ego makes me want to take your course. Ego says to me, I want to learn more. Ego says to me, you are more. Open up the book and and read and have your possibilities ego mm -hmm. for some people is i know everything and i don't need this and it's like you're right you don't because you've already shut the door to your possibilities so you know well the truth of the matter is you do know everything <laughs> but sometimes we need help remembering what we know That's or, true. or getting back to what we know Very so true. you know we're 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 talking in in dualistic terms. We're talking in duality where ego's good or ego's bad. The, the truth of the matter is, is that yes. <laughs> well, it's amoral. To me, the ego is amoral. There's no right or wrong to it. Yeah, it's both. It's everything. It it it's like everything else has its function. Mm -hmm. Um you know, in, in the world, because we live in a dualistic 3D reality right now. Uh, actually, we live in a 40 where it's overlapping, but we'll leave that for another time. <laughs> so if we're looking at this, I'm going to give a little bit of background for people because I took your course because why not? Why wouldn't I? I mean, to me, it was just another opportunity to learn and expand. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not going to let myself say no. Um, some pretty cool things happened for me. Um, yes. Did my knowing how to do it simplify my life? Absolutely. But I think also it expanded knowledge for me, expanded vibration. It's got me thinking more. It's got me delving more into the deeper mysteries, if we will, of, of realities and multi-realities and um, opening up possibilities. Good. Uh, I want to tell people that they can definitely ask questions of you. Um, I'm going to look to see if anybody has any. Um, if anybody has any questions, please feel free to pop in with that. Um, but yeah, it's the course itself is a very fun, light um loving course and if you want to spend an afternoon uh raising your consciousness and and being in that energy of love and light it's a great day way to spend the day um what you get out of it is what you put into it afterward you're right you go home you you sit and you do your thing um without going into detail and sometimes you know a couple of days might slip and then you go, oh, wait, I need to do this. Mm -hmm. I need to feel that. But the more that you sit in that energy, I found, the more expansive my world come, becomes. So for me, it's just been a nice cherry on top for, for my life. You know, it's a, it's a nice avenue. What about um, people wanting to redo the course? Do they need to? No, you don't need to. Um, my feeling about about people redoing a class would be why. I, I always want to know why. Um, if you if you want to come in, if you want to come in and redo the class, um, and and we can agree that it would be good for you to do it, then you're more than welcome to do it. Um, but again, I don't like dependency. So if you want to redo the class because you want me to do another soul patterning on you because you can't feel like or you don't want to do it for yourself, then no, I wouldn't let you back in. I, what I would about somebody who says, you know, I think I forgot something. I forgot. So if they if they forgot what they're supposed to do, do you, would you just talk with them and say, remember, you're supposed to do this? You don't need the course. You just need to do this. Yeah, sometimes it's just a quick phone call. Um, 
you know, I, I, I have a friend um, who, who was one of my students. Um, it's a very good friend of mine. And, you know, his philosophy is, is if you want me to tell you the same thing twice, you have to pay double. <laughs> <laughs> my philosophy is if you want to pay for the class again, and you want to sit there for three and a half hours and go, uh-huh, I got that. Uh-huh, I remember that. Uh-huh, we did that. Okay. You know. Yeah. I know how powerful the class is because after you did the second class, which I was not in, but I was down the hall working, I was like floating. I was like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> yeah. I could tell exactly where you were at in the process. Mm -hmm. by the energy that was swirling around the, the center. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's very individual. Um, you know, I, I would say I would really want to talk to the person and find out why. I don't like people being dependent on me. Right. And, right. you know, and the homework, the homework is what, 10 seconds, 15 seconds? If that. If, if that. that. So... I, I, I don't know. Nobody's ever asked me that question, Michelle. <laughs> well, the reason I asked you that question, because that question was asked of me, if I could, they said, I wonder if she'd let me take the class again. I said, I don't know, ask her. Right. Um, ask I, her. you know, ask. And I don't think this person did obviously or you would know no nobody's nobody's that. asked me <laughs> yeah i think that um yeah. there's been some people that had different results and one friend of mine who took the course said you know she didn't think anything happened to her. <laughs> a couple of days later she's like whoa <laughs> so it really affected her um uh, because she kept doing it so that was the cool aspect it. of that it's it's not a two by four in your spiritual head initiation this is high level galactic frequency it's subtle it's fine it's going to create a shift and if you're looking for a certain kind of experience you might miss it well here's one of your Stigs, I'm looking here at the workshop. You will learn to process, to align. Um, hang on, I'm gonna have to get my reading glasses here. <laughs> <It's> okay. That <laughs> 50 plus. Learn to process to align all your energy bodies with higher 4D and 5D frequencies after class. You know we've talked about this people don't understand 4d and 5d it's a frequency it's a vibration that has a frequency it's not i'm going to walk out the door and go live on planet 5d you know wake up there it's <laughs> no <laughs> honey i've heard many things <laughs> that things that i've heard people yeah. think that it is and it's like you're not going to just you know this isn't how it works this is you have to align yourself with the energies and part of that alignment that's what i'm going to be talking about with my talk um youtube talk here in a little bit is about what that looks like you know you can't align with four and five d energies if you are still engrossed in the anger of the duality of the pick a side that's the duality right now pick a side live in 3d you can mm -hmm. you're welcome to reincarnate back to 3d no one's saying you can but why would you want to and i think this course gives you the this workshop gives you the opportunity to align yourself with a higher frequency so that you don't i mean you know in fairness mm -hmm. we don't know when our destiny when we're going to choose to exit you know, we're not, that's not what we're thinking today. Today, I don't go in and say, um, I think we froze. Yep, you froze. So I must have froze. Okay, let's see what we're doing here. <laughs> see if they catch up to us. 
grounded vibration. Yeah. It's got me thinking more. It's got me delving more. In. Okay, are you there? There you are. I'm, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. I went to go check. Okay. So yeah. both of us froze. I didn't want to go in and miss out on anything. But anyway, um, what was mm -hmm. I saying? You you have to remember that the intent of this course was for healing. Right. Right. And in order to advance to 5D, we have to heal fear. We yes. have to heal our emotions. And and that's the whole idea. It's not it's not like a goal that you cross the finish line or you you know, many years ago my teacher said you can't you can't ascend if you have fear. Right. And and I really understand what that means now. Right. Because well, you're you're stuck. But you you pick a side. When you're picking a side, you forgot that you helped create that side. You've had other lives in which you have created that side. That's right. You know, so it's, so it's it's about resolving duality, not not picking a better duality. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we're getting the terminology so that people can understand that a little better. The other thing it says um, possible benefits. Now, this is this is what I really enjoyed, which was the stronger connection to higher self creator source clear and strengthen the self-contained auric field of each person mm -hmm. uh release of negative thought forms and fear-based energy patterns you know right there you say it you have to let go of fear yes you have to let things manifest in a more you have to embrace unconditional love Accelerated expansion of your natural, intuitive, and spiritual gifts. Activate your inner healer. Harmonize with 4 and 5D galactic frequencies. Enhance creativity for persona and professional projects. You know, this is a, you're not just benefiting the spiritual self. Mm -hmm. you're you're asking people take that benefit of the spiritual self into your everyday life you can do it and make monumental changes when that happens don't you think that that's going to benefit all of us i think that's what you're trying to get across to them of course we 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 live we live with a foot in both worlds and so we're in duality if all we do is advance our physical life we're in duality if we only advance our spiritual. We're, we're in wholeness when all of that takes place. And the way that that happens is by bringing all of your energetic selves into alignment with your physical self. Because when you're in complete alignment with self, you're in alignment with your higher source and, and you can't hold negativity. So, so my question is always, well, that sounds great, but how, right? People say release fear. Okay, great. How? Tell me how, <laughs> right? That's like saying, don't be jealous. Well, thanks. How, <laughs> right? How do I do that? The answer is you come into alignment with self and you do that through a procedure, through intent and through a frequency, right? that once that frequency gets set up, what's not of that frequency flies off of you. Because the, there's no harmonic resonance. There's no law of attraction. So that's how it happens. And what we do in class is just me helping you get to the how the first time. Right. Like I tell everybody in class, we're just practicing. You're, you're going to do it. Yeah, you do it every day and and fill it in and, and it'll be there. Yes. And you know that because, you know, I feel like I want to tell your, your group, don't take my word for it. You know, listen to Michelle, because <laughs> you would tell me if it was BS, <laughs> you know. You know, there a lot of people get frustrated because, you know, when I see benefits, I'm the first one that says, hey, you really need to think about doing this it will benefit you. But 
you have to keep it daily going on in your life. Yes. You know, if you find yourself snapping uh, about um, the X, mm -hmm. if you find yourself still angry about what parents did to you as a child, you just go back in and start doing your homework, your 15 second homework. Yep. You, you create it, you extend your branches out, you own, you become that power and you live that life. You beat your chest and you say, man, this is awesome. I mean, I made up my mind that I was going to have an easy summer this summer. And so far it's been pretty good. I All still right. need a nanny though. <laughs> I have books that I'm trying to finish and I have some other projects that I'm trying to get done, but you know, I'll manifest mm -hmm. the nanny when I'm ready, I guess. They just, they need to be unpaid right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather pay an admin assist. Anyway, <laughs> so how do people take your course this time that are interested? Well, um, we're having the class at your center. Um, on the 19th, all they have to do is contact me or you um, to sign up. Um, I love for people to pay in advance to secure their spots. So I know how many manuals to bring, um, but we pay at the door. I'm fine with that. I don't really care. Um, and, and just have the intent to, to want to do something for themselves that's going to be phenomenal for everybody. There you go. So the course fee is only $125. I say only because I think it's well worth the cost. Um, I think that it. Well, let me put that in perspective. If I do a personal reading for someone, mm -hmm. it's $125 for an hour. The course is three and a half hours long. Yeah. So what you're really kind of, you are giving it away. Um, I, I absolutely have no doubt. And I believe in, in the fact that you're doing it because you really, um, it works. It didn't work. You would have a lot of people saying it didn't work, but I haven't heard one person say it doesn't work. Uh, I have a lot of people who say, oh, I keep forgetting to do that. So I keep bringing in that fear-based yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. But there you go. I'm a Leo. I am never going to want to be embarrassed. I'm never going to want somebody to come back and say, you know, that thing you did, it didn't work. I don't do things that don't work. <laughs> you know, I had an evolutionary astrologer do a reading for me. I was, I was really curious how I evolved because I will, I look at everybody's work. You know me, I'm interested mm -hmm. in everybody's work. And this woman has definite value in evolutionary astrology. She, she was like, so I'm, I'm past the ego of the, the Leo on that aspect and i'm having to deal with the humbleness and i'm like but there's but there but but <laughs> don't yep. like being humbled <laughs> yeah nope i got humbled down it's the embarrassment i don't like <laughs> <laughs> exactly. all right there well you guys i'm going to check one more time to see if there's any questions Oh, somebody's got one, Rosie. She says, take advantage of Susan's workshop. I've done one of her amazing workshops. It is an amazing experience. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you. For popping in and saying that. It's absolutely true. That's very sweet. And she did a great job in class. Very, very, very excited to have her in the class. Oh, she's amazing. She's She is amazing. You know, she's like that opportunity to have... Um, I'm just so blessed by the people that come yeah. in yeah. and I have in my world. I, I cannot complain. No, we're, I'm we're trying to find where we're at. <laughs> we're, we're fortunate. We, I, I do want to say this. We're in a time period where the way that we're going to change the world to be say that again, say that again, because it kind of blanked out. Okay. We're, we're in a time period where in order for us to create our lives and the world that we want to see, that we envision, it's not going to happen by someone else doing it for us. Exactly. It's right. not going to happen by me doing something to you or, or you doing something to me. Healing comes from within. Sometimes we need support to facilitate it. And we recognize that we're the healer, 
The other person is the guide, not that they're healing me. The same thing for, for the class. It's not me doing something to you or giving you something that you don't have. If you want to shift your frequency into fifth density, which is oneness, love, light, resolution of duality, you have to do it. Yeah. I can't do it for you. Because if I could, I would take out my wand and I would ding every single person on the head and it would be done. <laughs> I would do that, right? Look I would do that for would everybody. Ding! It doesn't work that we way. Run through them all. <laughs> right? I, I would just sit in a chair and go here, here, here. I would do it. I ding would do it happily. Dinging, the dinging hugger person, you know, the person that gives hugs. Yes. You know, you'd be the dinger. <laughs> That's it. The only thing that they do is help you to feel something that you already have. If you allow yourself to feel it. So I, I just always want to say that because I don't want anybody to come into anything that I do and think they're going to get something they don't already have. I agree. Because they're not. And, and trying to do that at this point in time is counterproductive to where we want to go. Absolutely. Because I, I can't think of, I challenge anyone to name one prophet, one, one spiritual leader that said, the only way you're going to get there is if I do it for you. They never say that. I don't know why they don't. They, they really never were. say that. I wanted to be lazy and lounge at the pool today. Please, please raise my spiritual consciousness for That's me. That's it. That's <laughs> right. That nobody ever says that. They never say here. I'm going to take you over there. You don't have to do anything. Right. So, it, and it, that's why I say it's up to everybody else. If you want to stay in the 3D world, that's fine. It's it's perfectly fine. How if you want an easier transition to higher consciousness, you know, think about taking Susan's class if or workshop. If you, if you don't, if, if you don't feel you need it, that's fine too. It's not sure. a mark of you're right or wrong by taking the class it's it's here it's being offered i would love to see more people we have this class on the june 19th starting at one o'clock till about four it's a three and a half hour course so you figure time to get situated and breaks and everything so mm -hmm. um it will be at resident essentials inside scottsdale village plaza in suite 34 at 3107 eubank um, just in case somebody told me I was not telling where we were. <laughs> oh, well, we <laughs> wanted to do that. Down <laughs> the plaza, anyway. So, getting it out there. Um, but also, I look forward to you doing it. Um, maybe doing it on uh, Zoom too. When you leave, you'll still be able to do it. I have done um, an online uh, soul patterning class, and. Um, the those who came to the class, um, I've gotten some excellent feedback from it because again, it it's 5D energy doesn't doesn't need to be in person. Um, I personally like in person classes because I, I like being with people. Um, but I also recognize that I'm not going to be traveling across country and I don't expect people to fly out here um, to do the class so we can do it online. Um, and, and I'm sure we'll do it again online, just like I know we'll do it again in person. Sounds wonderful. All right, dear, we now have it recorded so people can sign up, get your signups in as quickly as possible so that you make sure you get a slot and bless you. Love you. Same have here. a wonderful day. I'm you too. Give them my uh my website if they want to read up more about it oh um um it's go ahead give the website it's my name susanzumo.com <laughs> i was thinking of your gmail and i'm like that's not her her website i'm going close susan enough Zumo gmail but that's how you, that's email to register but susanzumo.com you can read up more on yes All thank right. you so much for having me sweetie i love you Thank you. I love you too. See you soon. Alrighty. Bye. Bye.